Suspicious Minds is a song that I knew I wanted to put on this record from the very beginning, when we first started talking about making this record. I just always felt like it's so, you know, Elvis's version was so dr dramatic, and I can remember hearing it a lot. I didn't go see him live, but I, remember, I think I heard it on a live album. That was the one that was playing, you know, at our house when I was growing up. And it was just, you know, the big, the part where it ch changes time signatures in the middle, and the girls singing, and the horns playing, and it's just like, wow, there's so much going on here. It's so exciting. And I started thinking about how fun that would be to do live. Um, and really, like, a lot of these songs, for me, this record, I kind of made this record, one reason was to, with a vision of doing it live and bringing these songs to live on stage and just doing something really fun. Um, our, the, the guitar player that played on Elvis's record, Reggie Young, came and played on my record, which was really awesome. We were literally saying, so what do you want to play? And he's like, well, I could play, you know, this, I could play that, or you could just play what I played on Elvis's record. It's like, yeah, do that. We don't hear that every day. You know, nobody, that, that's so amazing. So it's just, a, we had a lot of fun with this record. It was sonically actually one of the hardest records that we, uh, that we worked on this mix a lot. And I don't know why. It just, I think I just had such high expectations for it, and I really just wanted it to be a certain way, and just getting the energy and a lot going on. It's one of the most layered records that we have. You know, every, a lot of the songs are just really simple. And so this one has some, a lot of stuff going on and just getting it all placed in the right place was a little tricky, but I love the way it turned out.